Good evening. Hello. It's Karen and Tim from Stepping on the Back Porch. Um, Tonight, instead of cards. From the cold Minnesota. I know. We're going to be doing some fun. This is always, I always think this is like a trip down memory lane. These are my gifts for customers. This is my customer appreciation gift in December. So we're going to come back to that. But I thought it's kind of like a trip down memory lane because it's all uh, cards on the front of them that are discontinued stamps. So it's just a fun and use of them. It's our way of saying goodbye to them because they're all going to go out. Yes. Hello, Michelle, Amanda. Glad, glad to have you guys here. Just a couple of quick announcements. There is free shipping one day only on orders that are $50 or more. No, three days ago. On Wednesday. No. <laughs> and uh, this is the host code. And I know somebody sent me one and I couldn't find I printed it out, couldn't find it. So I do have one from Lori Helgeson. Four bone density x-ray 673 love that one remember if your order is 150 or more you don't use this because you get the host benefits but if it's less use this and you have to ask yourself what was your bone density in june of 73 <laughs> and then what you're going to get from me this is going to be my host gift that month and then my other quick announcement is this weekend is our dozen quick wraps class so like this is one of 12 different little wraps we're going to be making uh it's a coffee cup with can, you can put all kinds of things in there, in. so it'd be fun. So we spend Friday night and twice on Saturday. You have access to ever for the videos and PDFs. So if you can't make it live, that's not a problem either. But just wanted you to know those couple of things. Jan says she needed to hear a friendly duo of voices at the end of her busy day. Well, we're glad to do that for you. <laughs> that is wonderful. We just so appreciate having you guys on here. So I do this once a year. You know, this is my... 12th year, I was trying to count, it's been at least 12 years, it might even be longer, that I've done this for my December <laughs> gifts. I do it for a couple of reasons. One being, I love to remind people what a super simple gift idea this is. But also, I love making gifts. This is the season to be making gifts. And to be making them for my customers just feels like Christmas. So it's just a very fun thing to do. So we're just going to do this little trip. Now, when I first showed most of these cards I did not make. Some I did. Most I did not. These are from card swaps. And when I first showed them, I always have the person's name. But now these are older and they're past. So I don't know. You know, if something goes by and you recognize it, you know, put their name in here because I love to do a shout out. But I just want to explain how I do this. All year, I save some of my favorite cards that are this orientation to put on the fronts of these, because these are just cards. So it takes five cards to make one of these. And we're gonna open just one of them. I'm going to put a link. I have a five minute video. You can make these in about three minutes. I have a five minute video making them and I will put, so in case you don't know, and here's the funny thing. I have like six or seven videos on this very same thing on my YouTube channel. I like do one each year. It's just hysterical looking back. The first one I ever did, Here's my story time was back in 2015. And I did some videos back then, never live and never had my face in them. But I did a two minute video making yeah, this recently. and it's all upside down. <laughs> so I'm going to put a link on my blog because I think it's kind of a stitch to go back and see that. But look how amazing these are. And notice this folder. There's no adhesive. This is just scoring, folding, a little trim, a little ribbon. Threading. Yes. And then inside. Mermaids. There are four cards and these are not holiday cards. So they'd be birthday kind of more general interest. So we have just love this card. And look at this. Holy smokes, it's your birthday. So we just have variety. And do you see how this ribbon just holds them in? It's a T-bone. And I'm always amazed, but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. Some of these stamp sets you'll recognize. So that's what's already fun. Um, this was a celebration stamp set a couple of years ago. Uh, and I believe this Ooh. was too. I love that. But I, aren't these just fun? So these are all, all cards. So when you see stamp sets that you just love, or if you have them, put in there. So again, do a little screen, screen uh, uh, sh shots, you know, of, of things that you like. But look how this just folds up. So this is how it is. I have two using this donkey from last year's celebration. The rest of them I'm not going to open. That would take us all night. But we're going to just look at this. Karen's been sick all day. She's super glad. To have some live entertainment here. <laughs> Good friends bringing comfort. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> and Janet is, oh, stormy Louisiana. 
storm was so bad they had tornado warning emptied out all the christmas ornaments from her closet oh she spent an hour in the closet again with all four dogs oh my goodness, oh my goodness. that's what she'd right. have to do hopefully those ornaments can stay out now and you'll get them decorated if the thing is fast but aren't these just adorable so if you have these darling donkeys just keep in mind these are some really fun ideas and of course layouts are layouts forever but it's just kind of fun because you might recognize some of these sets and think oh i have that set and that's really a gorgeous card love this how she did the triangles isn't that cool and one has the photo on and one is like so i just think that's but these are both just really and awesome ideas a tribute to one of my favorite tv shows that's right yeah and look at that blending in the background on that's the thing nice. so aren't they fun so tim is going to be putting these in a box and yeah. this is only some i have a bunch of these so this is um, yes, some does. that i have that I have done, I wanted to show. I think this is totally elegant with these big flowers and just the way this is arranged. Do you know, I take pictures of some of these before I send them off too, because I want to remember the card layouts because I could use these layouts again. I just love this layout. So that's one thing I'm looking at a lot. And, oh yes, the donkey could have a little Santa Claus hat on the top of his head. That would be adorable, Janet. And we've done a lot of, of quilt cards and skinny strip cards, like a skinny strip class. Look at this. Look at those little mm. skinny strips That's done nice. that way, isn't? And done in the blue and white, yeah. like those dishes. That is a lot of work. Bunch of birthday love to you. That, I just think that is I just lovely. You made a card like that. I did. I remember. Yes, you did. But isn't that just pretty framed on this? Um, and when I take cards, so the actual card did not have this white piece on. Uh, and you'll see in the video, on most of them, I added another one quarter inch layer out just to give it a little bigger perspective and to add one more. Okay. Like there, I added the black. So most of these, I just added one more layer. Other than that, it's one card in the front, four cards on the inside. Does that make an awesome gift? Oh, I was going to remember. Oh, this paper that sold out right away. How gorgeous is this? And we still have these dies, but the paper's gone. So I thought we'd just use this, but I thought that is nice. that is just gorgeous. And the bright, bright colors. Is that a hot pink? Is that what that is? Uh, yes, this is the, I think it's polished pink. Rebecca said she made some of these with four cards each for their annual Petunia Banquet in her Ooh. city. Oh, how fun. Is that great? Um, I also, tell me if you've gotten one of these. Rebecca, I know you have. If you've gotten one of these, you know, but you know, this is a gift that never gives gets old and you can take the gift I give you. You could re-gift it. I don't care at all. Or you could use the cards and re-gift the package. It's just all but good. Not back to Karen. <laughs> hey, Karen wouldn't she care won't. either. <laughs> you know, what's old is always new again. I, I'd for, totally forget something in a month, but I thought, but I love this card too in this stamp set. I just mm -hmm. love this. Sandpipers. You have the most amazing ability to take an ordinary moment and make it shine. I just thought that isn't that just striking? Mm -hmm. I just yeah. think these these are just like works of art. They're just so fun. Jean says she's gotten one. <laughs> I have 50 of them ready to send out. So we'll see if I need 50 of them. But I thought I just oh, and by the way, it is December and it is not too late to order gift cards from me. Gift cards do not get this. Gift cards get whatever I'm giving when they're redeemed. But just know if you get a gift card from me. For you or for someone else, it comes with free shipping and you can redeem it anytime. There's no expiration. You mean you can buy yourself a gift? Absolutely. Wow. Buy ahead and then you have free shipping when that <laughs> celebration comes. <laughs> but I love this too. And I remember showing this card and showing how cool this is. Do you see how this is? She's put blue, like blue sky mm -hmm. around the colored flowers and the die cut instead of leaving that part white. Ooh. So it's just fun to notice like the little tricks that people do. Yeah. But I think that's pretty awesome. Sandy's received three or four. <laughs> Looking forward to this year's version. <laughs> uh, Madalena says she got one a few years ago. <laughs> I, oh, isn't that fun? And it just feels like Christmas to me. I was telling one of my friends that comes over to help me. I said, I don't know. This might be my last year because a lot of work. Oh, you, you can't give this up after 12 years. This is just a part of tradition. So I'll help you make the cards <laughs> if you need more cards. So I thought, isn't that awesome? Oh, love this one too. Look at this. You make the world a better place. These are just, and you can see how I've just picked like just favorite cards. These are all just, and they're beautiful on the inside too, but these are just ones that just really look beautiful on the outside like I that. I that just one. think that that is I just that. a gorgeous, just love the layouts and adding that little white and then back on blue again, just makes it stunning. Oh, here's another gorgeous one. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, oh, thank you. Virtual hug. So beautiful. And so that's wonderful. And you'll notice some of these are like, this one is just classy. Some are classy. Some are whimsical. Are whimsical. You know, it's just like any anything works. I love these colors. Here we yep. have that really hot polished yes. pink again. And, and the green. black and white, black and white and pink. And isn't that just a gorgeous card layout too? So I think just how fun. And these all in the covers, I just, I use ones that say like, thank you or happy birthday. Any of those works, something you would give as a gift. But I just, oh, I think that one is totally striking. I wonder if there's any, anyone named kindly. Does that work? There probably are. Thank, thank you, you kindly. You're probably good. Oh, and look at this. I love this. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. We still have this punch. I was just thinking about that. I don't think this one's even retired except for the paper, but isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'll send it out anyway because it was in my packet, but I thought, again, look at that fun layout. And that ribbon. And the ribbon, yeah. Just, just awesome. Now that we're on birthday, I think here's a really, a retro one. Whoops. Oh, I guess it's on there. Um, I don't remember what year this is from. This is from a while ago, but I just love these colors. This looks very, very retro to me. Mm -hmm. so isn't that cool? The happy birthday. We've got the purple and the rose and the the, the green. Well, let's just show one of these cards. You see there's yeah, cards from so all over cool. too. Isn't that cool? See, we have all kinds of just, oh, Tim's going to start looking at the cards. And we'll never get like, through the night, yeah, but, know, you know? But, but they all have different cards in them. They do. So we could be here all night just looking at everything. So I had a couple of people over helping me do this. And they're just looking at, you have all these cards and they're all different. I said, oh my goodness, yes, I, I love collecting cards. And I love spreading them out and then putting them in batches of four that will have variety, you know, because I wouldn't put four cards for kids in one. I might put one kid's card, one masculine, one floral, you know, so it's just kind of fun. But anyway, this is really fun. <laughs> Deborah says, thanks for the reminder of this fun gift to give to friends and family. Yes, not for Christmas, just any time. You're right. And you know, you can have a couple of these sitting in your cupboard ready for any time. If someone has a birthday or need a little gift, they can just be totally, ready. you know, they're nice and flat. They're totally ready to give. So, so if you get a packet and it's got four donkey cards inside, make sure you tell Karen. Ah, but no one would complain if they oh. did because <laughs> that could actually be a hit. This is the one I actually made on the video that I Ooh, put out. I love it. Um, so I did still know the name. Amy Story did this card. It's the one card that I still have the name attached to. And I just think, I just love the colors, love everything about this and yeah. so thankful for you. What an awesome gift to give and then with cards and I just think that that is just gorgeous is and this is a retiring stamp set so I'll go ahead and use it and I think that I love that again stamping up artists are so good I yeah I love that I think that is just amazing I love this one too these are just really interesting colors if you notice this cake is Ooh. embossed in white so do you see how it looks just kind of weird because you see the insides you don't see the outlines so much Ooh. Isn't that stunning? And then the black and white yep. and how the other colors are done around this. I just think that is a very artsy card. And that looks like it's hand drawn. Yeah, it's not, but it looks like it. The mm -hmm. whole thing of this mm -hmm. looks very artistic. And again, that black and white is just so stunning. I will put a, a link to the video in the show notes right after this too. So if you're looking for it, and otherwise it's one of my most recent ones on YouTube, but I'll also put it here so you can see it. And then I put on my... Um, blog post that might be ready to put up tonight too i might put that up tonight i put all of the videos i've done over the years you can just see them but i thought they can be fine you don't have to sit and watch them all but you can you know, like fast forward and just see more i just look looking at all the cards how pretty they look all framed but the first one's kind of hilarious just because i had no idea what i was doing it was one of my very early videos and that is a pretty ribbon yep i love it Ah, oh, and this, here's one, the hydrangea paper has just been just this stunning, stunning paper. The world is better because of you. I give it just the colors in these papers. This paper, I don't know if it's still available, but this was on the clearance rack for like $4.60 or something mm. instead of $11. And it is just stunning paper. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing these from scratch and you're going to make a dozen, you know, you could do all like the same front, just pick one and just do them all like we normally do things. I just have fun because I collect cards all year. And for those of you who make a lot of cards, you do the same. I often say when you make a card you like, make one to keep and then make another to give. But then you have these cards at the end or cards that you've received that feel really special. This is a perfect thing to mm -hmm. recycle them. Okay. Love this too. Remember this little, little autumn. Oh, look at this little teeny punch. We got mm. the leaves yep. and the acorns, a little punch. And this was on the clearance rack. I don't know if it's still there, 
But I thought, isn't this, and I love this again too, my heart is grateful for you. Got the little embellishment there and just an elegant, the, an elegant look to that. And the perfect ribbon with it. Jana says she loves this, love to make these for the ladies from a weight loss group. Yes, any group of women would be absolutely perfect. Um, to do so, I will. I will put up a, a few links. And actually, if you go to my website, KarenTitus.com, in about half hour after this, this will be the one up because it's all ready to post. Once I add this video to it, here's another one. I just I love all of these cards. I just can't say enough about these. So you know, these are some of my favorites. Some are from last year. Some are from two or three years ago. I just keep collecting. But I love this. Is the wild rose. And I just, when I talk about layouts, I just love how this is stamped there. And then one is colored and popped up. Mm -hmm. And I just think that just makes, and here we get, again, we have the soft pink and then black and white. I just think black and white just makes such a great thing. So makes it look like it's a work in progress. Yeah. And my first batch of these will go out on Thursday. So for people who have ordered by then, because I tend to send them out, or it might be the weekend, but I try to send out like the first half of the month, I send out in the middle of the month, and at the end, I send the other. But just know this is your gift from me. Is anyone taking credit for any of these cards? I don't know. I'd have to see, but it is a trip down memory lane. At least I have um, shown, shown, mm. shown them before. I love this too. These are just, see, these are just gorgeous cards. They're actually hard to part with, you know? but I love the vases here. Isn't that pretty on the tablecloth? And on this, it's really fun. The plants are stamped on the paper, then run through a folder. The vases are popped up on top. So again, it's a very kind of artistic kind of a look. Oh, Sharon says she just pulled out the one she received last year. Now she's inspired to do it for a book club, girls. Perfect. Oh, the catalogs, you guys, they came today and I, they're going out tomorrow. And I'm posting a picture tomorrow. I had like four friends come over and help me, <laughs> help me do the addressing. And then they were all outside. So I'll post a picture tomorrow. So the first batch is going out. And if you need a catalog and you have not ordered from me recently, just go to KarenTitus.com. There's a free catalogs at the top and go fill that out. And the rest of you, you'll be looking for them in just a few days. Here's another beautiful one. This was in last year's celebration. Hmm. And I love how this part is just smaller and over on the side. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? I also love, look how she kind of, that's gray in there. And it's not the whole background. It's just around where the flower is. Yep. Isn't that just a stunning? So perfect. Uh, but it's like a shadowing. It kind of goes with this, which is kind of like a watercolor look. I just love how that's kind of like that muddy background. It gives mm -hmm. it a real depth of feel. Is this paper that was already colored? or did No, it... this was stamped. Yeah. Wow, so all nice. of this is stamped and it's just done so artfully. That's I just so think nice. that is another beautiful card. <laughs> I, I know they are just, ah, uh, these are just so fun. Uh, and this one too, love this one. This is from the Touch of Ink from uh, that, that was celebration in last year. I love, look at this soft watercolory background and then just the flower mm -hmm. and the hummingbird. That's just gorgeous. Hello, friend. Uh, we're almost, we're almost to the end here, but I wanted to show enough to just kind of get this whole feeling going. And it is fun if you've never made these and you get one from me, sometimes it's fun to keep your first one. Like some of you will notice some people suddenly they pull them out, then they're reminded to do them. These are a perfect gift to give for anyone. And if I, if you were giving something like this to an older person, uh, somebody had a great idea that you could even address the cards. They could still pick the cards, but let's say you have an old, like, like a mom in a nursing home or somebody, you know, someone who doesn't get out anymore in assisted living. You could put in envelopes that are pre-addressed, stamped, they could still pick the card they want out of the four. I just think that's just kind of a fun gift. And you've given them the gift of the beauty of looking at something and then actually something that they're going to send out. So, you know, there's just a lot of things you can do with this. I love this one too. Again, just a simple, look for the beautiful ways you touch my heart. This was a hostess set last year. And I love the simplicity of this. Mm -hmm. Just uh, the heart there. And I think hearts are just great for kindness. I mean, you, you think automatically of weddings or anniversaries, but I like this, the beautiful ways you touch my heart, heartfelt thanks, heartfelt care. You know, I just uh, mm -hmm. think that is just beautiful. And just again, all monochromatic, just in that gray 
Jesus, yes, include a book of postage stamps. That would be really, really perfect to do it. Oh, Tammy says she learned how to make book binding cards from the example card that I sent. So I love having real things in my hands. I will just tell you, I like to learn from videos, but oh my goodness, when you get something, it's just even easier to do it. <laughs> yeah, there's no excuse, Amanda, I agree. If you add the stamps and they have no excuse to not send them. <laughs> oh, it's a cold, windy day here in Minnesota too, saying in Michigan. Oh my goodness, it was one bitterly cold, windy day. Um, it was a not a great day and we've been busy out and about all day. So this is gorgeous too. This is from last year's, you know, that paper the for the very best and the celebration stamp set. Very Isn't that yes. fun and pretty with the two shades of blue? Yep. Wishing you the very best. I think those are really fun. And, oh, Deanna says her church group decided to exchange handmade gifts for Christmas. Oh, this is so perfect. Uh, this is just so perfect for all of those kinds of things. I just, and it's just, a, so I'll be, so I'm going to keep doing this and I'll keep adding a new video each year. I think it's just a stitch, but you're just going to love how simple this is. And here's another one of those vases where again, the, uh, Images been stamped down there, mm -hmm. and then the vase put over it. I just love that layout. And it's popped up and little popped up flowers. Mm -hmm. So anyway, just beautiful. And then the last one. Can I ask what color that is? Oh, it's my favorite. It's like a denim blue. It is misty moonlight, but and, it's kind of like that denim blue. And, and this is the brighter. same. What? No, it's the same. Really? These are the same. And look how this one's really a cute card, mm -hmm. and this one is an elegant card, mm -hmm. but it's the same colors. And I. And even have blue, but I thought, isn't this adorable? Yeah, That's the, nice. that penguin paper, the little happy birthday and two tags done, done with that. So this was just to get you excited about, about this. And you know, if you have any other gift Where'd giving needs, go? I know if you have any other gift giving needs, never forget this. So I'm going to go, I'll make that blog post live and I'll put in the other links under here on Thursday. We're we're going to do a fun little packaging idea that you're all going to want to just play along with. So I'll put up instructions about that and let me know if you have any questions and don't forget free shipping Wednesday. Am I going to do any projects on Thursday? Oh yes. Oh, you yes. will do one along. So that is wonderful. Thanks you guys. See you on Thursday. Let me know if you have any questions. Stay warm. And we appreciate you. Yes. Stay warm and cozy. That's yes. <laughs>